morning dear students in this session you will study about the taxonomical aids it is the continuation part in the last session you have studied herbarium and botanical gardens another taxonomical aid it is the biological museum biological museums is a collection of the preserved plant and animals for study and reference museum is a collection of the preserved plants and animals for study and reference so biological museum it's a place where we could find the organisms are being preserved preserve plants and animals so it is a taxonomical a so where we could find the plants animals are being preserved and how is it useful it is useful for study studying of living organisms okay so we can study about its external features so how it is been uh, appearing okay so uh, external features we could uh, study study as well as reference so how are these uh, living organisms being preserved so they are preserved organisms are being preserved in jars yes in jars containing preservatives solution so organisms are being preserved in the jar containing preservative solution yes so those organisms like for example plants which cannot be preserved in the herbarium so they are being preserved here in the museum like algae yes we could find bryophytes so they are being preserved in the preservative solution within the jar so preservative solution it might be alcohol or a formalin in which the organisms has to be preserved is being placed within the jars so it might be animals plants they are being preserved in the preservative solution and some of the plants and animals are being preserved in a dry form as dry specimens they are preserved as dry specimens insects so when the insects have been collected so they are being collected collecting killing and pinning where are they pinned they are pinned to a box that box is called as insect box so insects are preserved in insect box in insect box how so 
so in the form of pinned insects pinned to the box study the morphological features of the organisms so how we could find the organisms have been preserved plants and animals or other organisms in various ways either it might be found in containers yes jars containing the preservative solution or it might be in the dried form as a specimen or it might be pinned to the boxes or it might be as a stuffed models zoological parks are an enclosed area zoological parks they are enclosed area meaning what so they have their own border yes it is an enclosed area okay so where we could find in a zoological parks are the places where the wild live animals are being protected under the human care zoological parks are the place where wild live wild animals are being protected under the human care so it is an enclosed area so here live living wild animals are protected see as the name tells zoological park zoo related to the animals so here in zoological park only the animals are taken care what type of animals it is especially the wild animals okay so live living wild animals are being protected how in captivity captivity 
activity means under the human care what is a human care captivity see human beings take care of such wild animals which are being uh, kept preserved they are protected there okay they take care of each and every requirements of those wild animals okay so in case of zoological parks live wild animals are being kept protected in captivity or under human care see these zoological parks earlier they were known as known as zoos they were known as zoo but now these zoos are being converted as zoological park see earlier so zoo in zoos we could find the wild animals were kept in the cages closed environment but now in the zoological parks wild animals especially it is the endangered animals endangered animals wild animals endangered wild animals are being left freely in their natural in the natural environment which is similar to their habitat but they are being in the captivity that means the human beings take care so what are these endangered uh, animals the species whose number is been decreasing declining and they are at a stage where they can reach the extinction one day if the same continues like the human activities which affects the population size of that particular species okay in danger they are the at the danger of extinction okay so earlier these zoological parks were known as so means animals wild animals were kept under cages but now in the zoological zoo is converted to zoological park so where wild animals or endangered animals are being present protected freely in the natural environment but under the human care captivity so human beings take care of such endangered wild animals to increase the population size okay so and how is this uh, zoological parks useful we are studying as a taxonomical aid okay so it will help to study about food habits okay it is useful useful in studying food habits and behavior of animals so it is useful in studying about the food habits and behavior of the animals wild animals and the zoological parks are also useful in making the students the children familiar with the animals okay as well as it creates a recreation yes so we could go and visit the zoo we can study the animals as well as it is a sort of recreation so zoological park is a taxonomical aid where we could find the live wild animals are being protected and we could study its food habit as well as what can we study its behavior
so in case of a botanical gardens herbarium either dried forms or live forms of the plants are being uh, preserved in case of zoological park it is the uh, animals wild animals especially endangered animals the animals which are at the verge of extinction due to the human activities are being protected how in captivity means under the human care So another taxonomical aid. It is a taxonomic key. So what is a key? Tax key is a taxonomical aid. Taxonomical aid. How is it useful? It is useful for useful <coughs> identification of organisms. For, for what purpose it is being useful? It is useful for identification. Yes, so it is useful for identification. So, key is used for identification of organisms. Okay, it is a useful for identification of organisms. How? Based on. Based on. Similarities and dissimilarities Okay So how can we identify the organism based on similarity and dissimilarity See here in a key there will be two statement it is made up of two statements two statements those two statements are called as couplet couplet two okay two statements are called as couplet where one it is similarity and one statement it is containing the features which are dissimilar feature and each statement in a key is called lead each statement in a key is called lead where one will be accepted and another will be rejected. So similar character of one particular organism will be selected and another it will be rejected. So key is a device used for identification of organism based on similarities and dissimilarities. Okay and it comprises of two statements which is called as couplet and each statement in a key is called as a lead. So key is, okay it is useful for analysis of the organism, analytical in the nature and useful for identification purpose. Here no uh, yes, organisms are being preserved either in live or in preserved form. Here, he is a tax, such a taxonomical aid. It is a publication. It might be a book. 
okay where we will get the information about the organism okay so key is not like a museum nor the herbarium okay or a botanical garden okay so here we could get information about the organisms in the form of statements and those statements will comprises of similar and dissimilar characteristics where one will be accepted and another will be rejected and it is useful for identification so among different organism a particular species can be identified by the help of the kin among the so many organisms a particular species can be identified how by the help of the key based on the similarities and the dissimilarities apart from these there are also the other taxonomical aids like flora manual monograph so these are also yes of publications of books which provides information to carry out research activities or taxonomic study as the name tells flora okay it is related a book which provides information about it provides information about plants plant species of an area plant species of plant species of given area so here what type of information it will provide about the plant species of a particular area habitat description of a plants found growing in one particular area okay for example flora of raichur flora of delhi flora of bangalore okay what are the plant species which have been found growing in one particular area so that is called as flora so it is a book okay which provides information of a plant species which are been found growing or which have been found in one particular area next is manual yes it manual is also a book which provides information of the species found in a particular region or an area so it provides information it provides information about species of given area species of a given area 
what type of information it will provide only the names which is been useful for identification purpose manual provides the information about species not only plants but also the animals of given area particular area one area in one particular place say for example okay so in raichur what are the plants animals which are being found living okay its names list of the plants and animals will be provided in that book so that is called as manual monograph monograph is a book that provides information of only one taxon information of only one taxon one taxon it might be for example about cat okay this species if you take mammals it is a class or it is it is carnivora about carnivora it that is order kingdom monera a uh, kingdom so taxon you know it's a unit of classification it might be at lower level or higher level about in that book only one taxon about one taxon information will be provided that is called as monograph graph means literature mono means single and the last it is the catalog it is a book which provides information about information about systematically arranged arranged all plants and animals of an area with brief description for identification see here what is difference in manual and catalog so even manual provides information about species found in a particular area but only the names will be given but in case of catalog information about the species plants and animals okay so if they are systematically arranged and brief information description will be provided of those plants and animals brief description will be given not complete description which is useful for identification purpose yes so these are some of the taxonomical aids which are being useful for carrying out taxonomy taxonomic procedures taxonomy or research purpose okay so this completes the first chapter that is living world so you have studied the characteristics of living organism nomenclature yes taxonomic categories and the taxonomic hierarchy and the taxonomical age thank you